first three things called buhay, dangal, and binhawa. A culture of a nation starts from the stories of the past. Nagbabago ang kultura ng isang society, ng isang bansa, based on the stories handed down from the past. Kaya whoever controls the narrative, whoever controls the storytelling, determines the culture of a nation. When we were young and full of hope sa skwela, nababasa namin the barangays of the past. The barangays of the past telling us how the datu was, was inspirational, how the small community in small villages looked at the datu, the leader, and the leader was giving them focus on buhay, dangal, at ginhawa. That was the role of the datu. In datu, hindi pimitingin na anong pwede niyang iutos sa tao, kundi anong kaya niya dapat ibigay sa tao. Ang binibigay niya sa kanyang community were three things. Buhay, dangal, ginhawa. What is buhay, dangal, at ginhawa? Do we see that today in our government? You can answer that question yourself. So what is, what are our aspirations? Buhay is the economic critique that we just discussed. Yan buhay, economic yan. You have the stable prices, you have opportunities for employment to earn income, and you have the sustained effort of government because there is enough economic opportunity. But the more important thing for a society is dangal. Dangal is the self-esteem and pride that a leader instills in the Filipino. The leader must be able to build into our society yung paniniwala sa sarili. Kaya natin to because the leader has given us and has inspired us na kaya pala. And this leader, hindi siya nag-aapi Walang siyang inaapi ng mga dukha. And dukha, and we don't mean people who just don't have money. Dukha are people who have lost opportunities and lost hopes in their, in their mindset. That's the dukha. A leader, hindi niya inaabuso yan. At in fact, nagbibigay siya ng pagkakataon, the opportunity for each and every of his constituents to change, magbago ang sarili. In English, we call that empowerment. The leader must empower each and every one of us to be inspired and to be given the opportunity to execute his talent. And of course, Ginhawa. Ginhawa is the human experience. Now, we can see that, oh, more or less equitable pala ang distribution ng economic benefit. Pag nagbigay ng ayuda, binibigyan lahat. Hindi yung binabawasan yung ayuda ng mga barangay heads. Mababa na nga yung ayuda, babawasan pa. So that is not ginawa. The experience of ginawa is na believe tayo na more or less ang governance of our society is equitable. Na bibigay sa atin yung dapat na dumating sa atin. Sufficient justice an opportunity. This is an automatic result if the leader provides us buhay and is provides us dangal. A leader that can inspire, a leader that can execute, Ginhawa follows almost automatically. The true leader ay isang taong nag-iisip anong kanyang legacy iiwan sa ating bansa. Hindi yung ano ang in this in this term para maboto ulit ako in the second term a leader has a good vision long term vision in the short term so let me share with you what i would like to recommend or propose as how to rate every candidate and tawag natin diyan
What should we look for in a candidate? Five Ks. Apat na karapatan. Ano ba ang karapatan ng mga kandidato nito? Bakit? They dare offer their, per, their, uh, themselves to us as our leader. The five Ks. Kakayahan sa pamamahala. Karanasan sa pangangasiwa. Karakter. Konkretong adhikain or platforma. At number five, Connection sa mamamayan. Connection sa mamamayan is empathy. Number one, kakayahan. Ano ba ang background nito? May educational attainment ba ito? Anong life experience? And by educational attainment, it doesn't mean necessarily formal education. The former Senator Jokro had no formal education, but he was among the best of the best. So, Tinitignan natin ang bawat kandidato, yung kanyang kakayahan, the capability, whether in terms of, kung baga ko na eh, credentials niya. Saan ba siya natuto? How did he get to this point? Anong kanyang intellectual capability and life experience? Number two, karanasan sa pangangasiwa, in people management. You don't have to be brilliant to be good, a, a good manager, to be a good executive. The executive must be willing to execute, even to make mistakes, because nobody is perfect. But if you execute, you have a chance of success. If you don't execute, zero chance of success. So we need people who can execute for the right motive. Pangatlo is integrity, honesty. Yan yung character. Mental honesty and number one. We should be able to discern kung nagsasalita, nagtatalumpati ang kandidato. Seryoso ba ito? O forma lang? Kailangan ba siya sumayaw sa stage para paniwalaan? Importante sa atin yan, character. Platform is an action plan. Anong action plan ng kandidato? Well, sa akin, platform is not as important as character, academic experience, kakayahan, and karanasan. Because platform, no matter how good or bad, if executed, will come out with good results. So lahat mga kandidato may mga platform para sa akin, kahit anong platform, kahit kaninong platform, basta may execute, it's good. So less important sa akin yung platform. Panglima, ang importante sa akin yung dating ng kandidato, yung can he inspire? Meron ba siyang tunay na pagtingin sa ordinary Pilipino? Tama ba yung kanyang values to build up and empower Filipino people? Ganong kalayo siya tumingin sa pag-develop ng ating bansa at pagbigay sa atin ng ginhawa, buhay, at langan. So, I will show you a sample of what I did with some OFW constituents that we have. We rate the candidates according to the 5K. Dito sa so first example, equal rating siya. Bawat, bawat, Matrix, bawat criteria, criterion, kakayahan, karanasan, character, platform, at connection sa mamaya, equal ang weight niya, take the 20%. So ito, total lang natin yung rating sa kanya. In this case, bibigyan natin ng score na 5 points maximum bawat, bawat criteria. Kakayahan, maximum 5 points. So 5, five, ano yan, five factors. Maximum score ng kandidato, 25. Mr. Laxon, ni-rate nila. Ito, ni-rate ito ng uh, about 18 people. Na, na, ng Zoom. 5, 5, 4. Eh, nakikita niyo yung kanilang rating. Tingin nila si Laxon sa kakayahan, top. Sa karanasan, top. Sa karakter, 4. Sa konkretong uh, adhikain, Maganda daw ang plano. Sa action plan, tingin nila kayang, uh, kayang uh, i, i, 
maganda yung yung kanyang connection sa ano. So, naka 22.5 si Lacson dito. Si Mr. Leo De Guzman, ni-rate din nila yan. Nakita niyo score. Bawat score na yan is the sense, yung feeling ng tao nang i-score. Ah, hindi ito arithmetic formula. Basta, ano ba tingin nyo? In a score of five, ano bibigay mo dito sa kandidato nito in the case of kakayahan, karanasan, etc. So, tinotal namin yan. Nakita ninyo, naging rating is Mr. De Guzman, 8 lang. Si FN Jr., 10.5. Si Isko Moreno, 17. Si Manny Pacquiao, 16.5. Si Lenny Robredo, 23.5. Alphabetical yan. Ha? Alphabetical rate. So, kung babatayan natin na pare-pareho ang weight ng bawat isang K, ang number one, si Robredo. Number two, si Lacson. Number three, si Moreno. Number four, si Pacquiao. Number five, si FN Jr. At number six, si Leo de Guzman. Ngayon, sabihin natin, hindi naman siguro tama na pare-pareho ang bigat ng bawat K. Balpalitan natin. Sabihin natin na yung karakter, mas mataas ang weight niya. Imbes na 20%, ginawa natin 30%. At yung konkretong plano, tatakorma, hindi ganong kaimportante yan. 10% lang yan. At yung connection niya sa mama yan, 20%. So using the same scores, yung score na binigay natin kanina, pinaktor natin yung weight. Yung weight. Ang maximum total is 5. Kasi yung 5 points times 20%, 1 lang yun. So lima yan, Five lang ang maximum. Ano ang naging rating? Ang naging rating niya, ang pinakamataas, uh, uh, si Lenny, 4.7, si Lacson, 4.4, ang nagbago, si Moreno at si Pacquiao. Dati, si Pacquiao, Talo ni Moreno. Number three si Moreno. Number four si Pacquiao. Pag pinigyan na ng weight, factor yung K, limang K, nagbago ang ranking nila. Now, I'm not saying ito dapat gawin nyo. Sinasabi ko lang, ganyan dapat ang isipan. Bigyan nyo ng kahalagahan, na tamang kahalagahan. Yung K, ng bawat isang kandidato. Yan lang ang, ang suggestion ko. And what all I want to do, I want to end the sharing by the statement na ako yung naiinggit sa inyo ngayon. Dahil in today's world, there is so much to learn and so big access to learn. With the internet, napakadami tayo pwedeng matutunan na kabilis-bilis. You can research overnight. Yung dating ginagawa namin, aning walumbuan, even more than one, one year. Today, you have access to information and study within one week. So the important thing is to look at yourself, dream, think big, and win. So I would like to end this by sharing a simple point, which was entitled, If You Can. But I changed the title. It's, it's uh, written by uh, an author, Walter D. White. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you dare not do anything, you don't. If you like to win, but think you cannot, then you won't. If you think you are lost, you are lost. For out of this world we find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. We are very important itong education na binibigay sa inyo, the opportunity of, of improving your internal will and knowledge. If you think you are outclassed, you've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself. 
before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. So scholars, what do you think? Do you think you can change the world or not? Do you think you can open your opportunities or not? If you think you can, then your choice will be clear. Thank you very much for this opportunity uh, to the foundation, uh, Angela, for inviting me. I'm open to questions if there are any. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat.